Hey YouTube, along with Pugs1975. I got PM'd a really, really interesting question. I was working on my next Yuham it, I'll play it video. But yeah, this this question kind of yeah I've come across some of the problems or opinions or things that people associate to this topic over the sort of eighteen months I've done YouTube. And yeah, it, it kind of, you know, it, it got me thinking and it, it, it's a really, really good question. Now, I got PM'd and asked a question. I got asked, should I have an intro to the videos on my channel? Why do you have one? Now, it's a shame this person uh, doesn't want me to mention them because I would, because this is a really, really good question. Anything that makes me start, stop and think about something for longer than 30 seconds, and by that I mean, ooh, what's on TV, is good, because, you know... I like to think, I like to discuss, I like to debate. So the immediate answer to this is really, really simple and I've touched on this before. Should you have an intro? It's a bigger question than that. Should you have anything? To which I will always say this. You should have whatever you want to have. Your channel, your choice, you know. If you want it, do it. You know, it's not a question of whether you should have something, it's a question of whether you want to do it and go through with it. That said, the way you do or execute something, there is a sort of, you know, an inherent rule set or decorum or etiquette, I should say, that you have to follow when you do it, so that too many people don't do, you know, on, well, not YouTube, any social network site ever. You can do anything you want, it's how you execute it. Be polite, you know. Be respectful of others, don't be derogatory. I've said this before in many, many videos. And then there's nothing wrong with it, you're just expressing yourself. Although the side to that, the other side to that is, you know, there is nothing wrong with discussion or debate. Too many people think that discussion or debate, you know, they don't like people disagreeing with them. And I'll put my hand up and say I was like that once, and being on here for 18 months has widened my eyes, and channels I've come across, some of my favorite channels, or rant channels, have made me realize this. There's nothing wrong with to debate or discuss some, something with someone that you completely disagree with and you don't have to agree at the end of it anyway. It's how you do it. Anyway, drifting slightly off topic, but yeah, if you want it, do it. But it's an interesting question because I myself, I've been on YouTube for 18 months and I've had my fair share of, fair share, fair share of flag trolls, you know, people just being antagonistic, aggressive, dicks and one of the topics that keeps coming back to me is people challenge me on why I have an intro because an intro on YouTube is a Marmite thing isn't it there are big channels that have intros there are small channels that have intros you know there are big channels that don't and there are small channels that don't it's not for everyone I understand that and a bit of my sort of you know time on here I've had various sort of people popping you know questions at me or having a poke and one of them is uh, why, why do you have an intro it's not TV you know, it's big-headed, it's arrogant, you, you're trying too hard. Um, one person even said to me, which I like this one, do small channels shouldn't have intros? Which, if we bring your own logic to that question is, well, so it's okay for big channels to have intros, because big channels were small channels. At some point, I didn't realize that size was a determining fact on who should do whatever they wanted to, because, you know, it's free expression. But anyway, and, uh, you know, oh, you've got a theme tune in Doo Doo, oh, you've got a theme tune that's so arrogant, it's not TV. No, it's not TV. Um, I watch more stuff on YouTube than I do on TV, to be perfectly honest, because the very nature of YouTube, while it's drifting away rapidly from what it was under the, uh, you know, the eyes of Google, or the watch of Google, I should say, it's, it provides you with content that would never make it into the mainstream, that I like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, someone else said you, you're trying too hard to be famous. I'm not trying too hard to be famous. No one's going to get famous for YouTube. All those people at the top are there that, you know, so many people want to be like. They hit the party at the right time, people. Those days are long gone. I see this purely as blogging. I see purely this as an extension of myself. So why do I have an intro? Yeah, got there. Sorry, drifting away from topic. Simple. Like everything else I own, I want to personalise it. I want to make it, you know, something that can be associated to me, to my personality, to my likes, to my dislikes, to basically represent me. And it's not just YouTube. My car, the interior of my car, I've only had it for a couple of months. It represents me. I have a TARDIS hanging from my mirror at the top. I have a DeLorean stuck 
on the dashboard, not just any DeLorean, a time machine DeLorean, and I have a sonic screwdriver in my glove compartment. Anyone who walks by my car when it's parked at the side of the road is probably just going to think, geek, I don't care. I wanted to personalise it. I wanted to make sort of an extension of myself. It's one of my places. It's one of the, thing, the, the things I do a lot. I hang out a lot, and you know, I have to drive a lot of places, so I spend a lot of time in my car. That's no different from YouTube. So why shouldn't I personalise that? Your house. You don't decorate your house like your neighbour's house, do you? Why would you? Nothing, you know, not that there's anything wrong with the way they decorate it, but personal tastes and preferences, you know. I don't want my house to reflect someone else. I mean, I've got Marvel figures, Hot Wheels, you know, I've got Star Wars crap and consoles all over the place. But it's my place. It's my place. I own this. I want it to reflect me. This, my car. YouTube, no different. Why do you have your own desktop on your computer? Why do you not have the box standard one, the one everyone else does? Because it's a reflection of yourself. And I can honestly say the fact that I have an intro in front of my channel, it's not there to go, hey, look at me, I, please adore me, please love me, I want attention. No. I mean, hopefully people watch it and see all kinds of stuff in it and go, ooh, I might like that. But that's not there to say, come in, come in, check this stuff out. That's to say, this is the shit I like. This is me. I am personalising my product or my channel, because it is a product, because anything you make becomes a product of yourself, whether you're doing it to be famous or not. That is honestly, in a nutshell, why I have a channel. Channel? Channel. I don't, oh, that's any rude. I don't understand why it creates so many sort of, oh, such a divisive Marmite sort of opinion of it, you know, what, why would you have an intro for your channel? I don't know, that's why I have an intro for my channel. Is there anything wrong with it? I can't answer that. That's a question for yourself. If you want to do it, then go forth and do so. But it's interesting. I'd like to know what you people think about channel interests. Do they bother you? Do they annoy you? Do you think they're necessary? Do you think it's people trying too hard? What do you think? Thank you for watching. See you later.